do you direct kindness and patience to your baby between 36 weeks and birth? You're probably more fascinated with your baby already because now by 36 weeks, you can find its head, that's the hard object, and probably find its bum, which is the softer object about the same size. You're more likely to be able to feel the baby's back, which is like your upper arm. You can sometimes see the baby kick and you can sometimes see the baby rolling around inside. That rolling slows down about two weeks prior to when the baby is going to be born. The baby begins to stop moving as much. Part of that is that it's so congested inside the uterus. And the other part is that the hormones in the woman's body are changing. And that begins to put the baby into sort of a sleepy state so that it can concentrate its efforts to be born. Every woman's pregnant body is preparing to labor and have a vaginal birth, even though your partner may be having a non-laboring cesarean. Hormonally, physically, emotionally, every pregnant body is preparing to labor and have a vaginal birth, which means that women's responses are very similar between 36 weeks and the birth. And your baby's responses are similar. So when you have patience and kindness to your baby, if you've had the courage or known to talk to your baby, to have the freedom to get to know this baby that is being housed in this woman's body, so she has this privilege of communication that you don't have, which often blocks men from communicating as well to their unborn child. And in the previous Fathers to Be Pregnancy Academies, we talked about the importance of talking to your baby. Do it in the privacy of your own mind. So if you haven't done that already, talk to your baby now. What are you going to be like as a father? What do you hope for them? How are you going to discipline? What happens when you get angry? What happens when you get impatient? What happens when you don't feel like being kind? Because as an adult, you experience those emotions as well. And you direct kindness or unkindness to people in your lives and towards yourself. And you direct patience or impatience to yourself or people in your life. So this child is just another person in your life. And you need to help them understand how you deal with these skills and how you're going to grow them for the positive as this child enters your life.